the beautiful concept of a floating city is coming true. The South Korean city of Busan will be the first to build an ocean-based city. UN Habitat and Oceanics have signed a historic agreement to make this vision a reality. Welcome back to Genesis. In today's video, we'll look inside the floating city of the future. Before we proceed, make sure to subscribe to our channel and click on the notification bell for regular updates. Floating cities might seem like a far-off future, but in South Korea, construction on one of these futuristic habitats is about to begin. Oceanics Busan will provide breakthrough technology for coastal cities facing land shortages and the threat of climate change. This concept was first unveiled in 2019. Made up of a collection of hexagonal platforms, the city is designed to withstand natural disasters like floods, tsunamis, and hurricanes. The city will harness the best of technology, nature, and culture to offer an abundance of space, energy, clean water, and services to sustainably meet humanity's needs. By the middle of the century, the network predicts that the cost of increasing sea levels and inland flooding might be $1 trillion. However, it's hoped that this sustainable floating city prototype will help in some way to address the issue of giving vulnerable coastal residents safe places to live. The announcement offers a chance to showcase cutting-edge technology in an urban environment, as well as a potential breakthrough for the fight against climate change. The Oceanic City, located in Busan, South Korea, and touted as a new floating city concept, is a vibrant city that centers on eco-friendly living and sustainable development. Located off the coast of Busan, it provides for a more compact urban design and creates greater access to natural resources by utilizing water as a vertical element rather than an obstacle. The floating city is intended to be a self-sufficient, sustainable community where people can comfortably dwell for up to 100 years. When it's finished and connected to the Bering Strait, its three interconnected platforms will provide housing for up to 12,000 people while it is estimated that this number might increase to 100,000 in the future if necessary. Each island, made of modules, would be constructed on land and hauled out to sea where they would be anchored. Additionally, the tiny islands are built to withstand a Category 5 hurricane. The future floating city project combines multiple concepts, including sustainable marine living and city planning. Each of the platforms has a specific purpose, living, research, and lodging, while the links span bridges that connect them to the land, while the links span bridges that connect them to the land create a sheltered lagoon providing space for recreation on the water. Energy, food, water, waste, mobility, and coastal habitat regeneration are a few of the six interconnected systems for the Oceanics Busan. These will make sure floating communities utilize as few resources as possible while also fixing any harm they might create while building. BIG's new floating architecture, which aims to be a carbon-neutral city, may also provide a long-term answer to the issues caused by global urbanization. Aside from delivering warmth and softness, locally obtained replenishable materials like bamboo and fast-growing wood can also help reduce building waste when used to build the floating structures. All of the city's operational energy will be produced by rooftop and floating photovoltaic panels. Each neighborhood will have its own water treatment and replenishment system, resource reduction and recycling measures, and food production on urban farms. The majority of automobiles will be electric, with the option to switch between battery and hydrogen fuel cells when there are insufficient renewable energy sources to support them. Housing space has long been in short supply, particularly in urban areas. Yet as climate change threatens to raise sea levels, cities will need to develop floating structures to house the growing global population. The world's population is expected to grow further and further into the future. To meet this demand, we'll need to build more homes. Yet with space at a premium, how do we create a community that works for everyone? Is a floating city really a solution? Let us know in the comment section below. We hope you enjoyed today's video. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. I'll see you in the next video.